Hey guys, so I don't know if anyone's been having the same issue as me as trying to find a really nice pair of white shorts for summer, but um, I've ordered quite a few different styles online from different people like Express, Revolve, Bellman. I just really wanted to kind of get, see if there was worth paying more for kind of like designer shorts versus kind of more affordable street style brands and compare them all side by side. So I haven't steamed anything, I haven't ironed it. Everything's fresh out of the box. And I'm hoping something works because a lot of the styles I was trying before, I've already sent a load back. I wish I'd started this video sooner. They were kind of off-white, not a bright white. And I love that bright white, not one that already looks dirty. The materials weren't quite right. I hate linen, honestly. I know a lot of people are like linen fans for summer, but I'm really anti kind of creases. I can't stand crease clothing. And however much you seem to iron or steam them, the first time you put them on and get in the car and get out, they're already creased. So no linen white shorts in this haul but let's take a look and start with pair number one okay so this is the first pair of white shorts so by susan monaco on revolve what i really liked about them was the color they're a really nice bright white and then they have pockets which is kind of really good another thing i like is the elasticated waistband because i do like my ice cream and lots of long summer lunches with lots of rosé wine so there is room for eating in them they're an extra small so i would say they run true to size what I don't like about them, so I've done the things I do, they're pretty, oh, another thing I liked is they're kind of, they're not that crease straight out of the box, so I think they're gonna, I think you can just kind of iron them once and they'll be good for the day. But the thing I don't like personally is the material. They kind of feel, they're more like a cotton lycra, so they feel like gym shorts. They might not look like gym shorts, but they feel it and I know it. So these are going in the return pile. But if you're looking for a pair that kind of gives you good booty coverage, they definitely cover the butt. They're kind of that mid thigh length. I'm 5'2", so if you're taller, obviously they're gonna come up shorter. I like the high-waisted style. Um, I just think it's more flattering than the low slung. I know the low slung's in fashion right now, but if you're looking for a classic pair of white shorts, kind of that high-waisted, mid-waist, normal waist, is kind of a good way to go with them. Um, so yeah, this is pair number one, and I'm gonna pop on a pair number two. Okay, so pair number two is Balmain, and it actually is Balmain Kids. Don't laugh at me, but here's a little cheat for you. Balmain Kids, or Balmain, however you want to say it, is about a quarter of the price of the adult range, and if it fits, it's awesome. I ordered the age 16 to begin with. They were way too big. These are actually age 14, and I they're still way too big. The waist is massive, and the length is so long. I don't know how tall these 14-year-olds are, but um, I just think they're really long. I would like, I like my shorts. Shorts are shorts, right? They're supposed to be short. I mean, I'm not talking like up your butt, but a lot shorter than these. These are kind of more like Bermuda shorts. Also, the material, if you like a longer length or you're really tall, these are probably gonna be perfect for you. The material isn't also quite what I thought it would be. It is a little see-through because you can kind of see where the pockets are. I'm wearing black so you can kind of see how see-through clothing is. If I wear white, you're not really gonna get as much of a gist of it. So I tried to do a top that would contrast. Um, I do love the pockets. I do love that it comes with a belt. I haven't taken the sticker off of it, but there is a gold Balmain belt under there um, because I'm going to return them. That's why the tags and that song. So I put them on and I was like, oh no, the fit's just completely off for me. But if you're taller and if you maybe size down to an age 12, I think they'll be perfect and you get a really, really good deal on these shorts because they're on sale right now. And they are just a really good casual pair of summer shorts. This is how they came out the box. I haven't ironed them. So I think they're gonna be pretty easy crease-wise to maintain. And I kind of like the pleats in them. I think it makes them look more classic and tailored and expensive, but it depends what you're going for. These are definitely a dressier short than kind of like a really casual summer style. All right, let's pop on pair number three. Okay, style number three is a absolute winner for me, and especially from the price point, it's Lulu's. I'm gonna link everything below. Hopefully everything's still gonna be in stock. If they go out of stock, I'll try and find a replacement to link as well. But this one, I tell you why it's a winner for me. It's straight out of the box, so yes, it's a little bit creased, but the color is a really nice bright white. The fit is absolutely perfect. I have to say, I find with Lulu's for a kind of a more affordable brand, their sizing is really consistent. So these are an extra small. They have pockets. The material is really nice. It's not shiny, it's not linen. It's just a really good light material for summer. And 
they're fully lined, so they're not see-through. I think like lining on my shorts is kind of a really nice touch and it makes them feel more expensive. The belt comes with it, but I would say, it's a great thing that, yeah, okay, belt comes with it, but I would probably switch it out just to kind of make it look a little bit higher end because the belt does look a little cheap. And another thing about this is, is part of the matching set. I am obsessed with matching sets because it makes getting dressed so much easier. And in the summer, as soon as I go inside, like it's 110 outside, we're in Vegas, right? I come inside in the AC in restaurants and it's absolutely freezing. So having kind of a lightweight blazer you can throw on is really cool. And I like that it's kind of that single button. It's not double-breasted. I love double-breasted blazers with gold buttons, but it's not really kind of that summer casual look. This is, and it's just that fastening. The shoulders are absolutely perfect where they are. And it's just loose and flowy and lightweight. The sleeves are a little long for me, but I'm sure if you've got longer arms, you'll be fine. And honestly, I'll probably kind of push them up anyway. And I just think it's a really nice, lightweight summer suit that's really affordable. So this is a total winner in my books. And it, they're sold separately, so you don't have to buy the whole matching set if you don't want it. The blaze was an extra small as well. Okay, I'm gonna pop on the last outfit and let's see if that's a winner keeper and which one out of these two I wanna keep because is another white blazer and shorts matching set. That was a mouthful. And um, the other one's a lot more expensive, so I kinda wanna do a comparison to see if it's worthwhile spending a bit more. Okay, so this is the last pair of white shorts I'm gonna try on today and again, I really love these shorts and I'll tell you why again. They're a little bit off-white. They're not bright, bright white, which is kind of like, okay, I really wanted bright white, but to be fair, when I'm running around London all summer, they're probably gonna get a little dirty anyway, so it's not the worst thing in the world and it'll kind of, it'll still look good with the tan and all the rest of it, but what's cool about these is I'm obsessed with how cute these little buttons down the front are. I love details like that. They just make things a little bit more unique. So no, I wouldn't wear a belt with this, but um, it's also the perfect fit. It's from Revolve, it's Camilla Coelho's collection. It's an extra small again, but the fit is absolutely perfect, but there's a little bit of give, so I can still eat in there as well. The length is really nice on them, so that's kind of like the back of them. And I like the little cuffs. I think that's another really cute detail. There aren't any pockets, but hey ho, you know, I've got a handbag. It's not the end of the world. I would prefer pockets. But if I'm torn between these and the ones from Lulu's, these are more expensive, but I personally think they're worth it just because the quality is better. You can tell they're not see-through at all. They like give you absolutely complete coverage and the material is so nice and they've got little back pockets. They're actually real pockets. They're not fake. Not that I would use them for anything. I'd probably end up with my phone falling down the loo if I put anything in there. But um, I really, really like these and they're also part of a matching set. You know, I still like matching sets. So obviously I've got the blazer as well, which is an extra small. Again, these are straight out of the packing. So they are super, super creased because I wanted to see what they were like and which ones I'm returning and which ones I'm keeping. And this blazer is obviously really big, but I kind of like that. Again, I probably wouldn't even bother getting these tailored. Oh, no, maybe I would, um, because I'll probably just roll them up in the summer anyway, but that kind of like slouchy oversized look is perfect for the summer. And you could throw this over a summer dress or whatever you wanted. There are shoulder pads in there, which give it a bit more structure. So, I mean, it is a bit big on me, but I actually quite like it being big. And then on their pockets, there are pockets. So it doesn't really matter if there are pockets here because you've got pockets here, which are always a nice thing. And it's just a little flat closure on them. And then that's the back. So which one am I gonna keep? I am gonna keep this one. And just because I think I prefer the quality, I think it's worthwhile spending a bit more. I love the button details. I just think it's a bit more unique and looks more luxe than the Lulu's one. If you wanna spend like kind of half the price, definitely the Lulu's is the way to go. And it's a really nice bright white and a lighter material. This is thicker material. So, but honestly in England, because that's where I'm spending my summer, it's gonna be cooler anyway. So the thicker material is gonna be great for there. And if I wanted to, if I was spending summer here, I would probably do the Lulu's one because it is lighter weight. And London style is a little bit more formal than in dressy than it is here anyway. But this is my winner and I will link it below. It also comes in a really, really pretty bright pink and kind of a periwinkle blue if you're kind of looking for a different color. Anyway, let me know your favorites in the comments below. If you have any questions on any of the styles, let me know as well so I can answer them for you.
Thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.